What's going on guys? Justin here from Bonafide Fishing. We're about to do some smallmouth fishing with arguably the best guide in the 336 area code. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Rob Lilly. I'm a full-time fishing guide with Davidson River Outfitters. We're here in Western North Carolina. We're gonna be doing some smallie fishing. We're taking a sweet new Bonafide skiff outfitted with a Newport motor. We're gonna take it downstream, play around, see if we can whack a few fish. So we've got three SKFs out here. They're all running the same platform, the NK180 Pro and the Stern using our four bolt pattern that's in the back. And right now I'm just gonna connect the steering cables. You can either run these internally or externally. Right now they're on the external. And then the great thing about the NK180 Pro, uh, we do have an external battery that we're gonna be running underneath the seat. Your SKF comes with multiple mounting locations for your control box for the Newport 180 Pro. So right now I've got it attached to this gear track on the left-hand side. This is probably one of my favorite features of the NK180. Look how light that thing is. And also it's got this kickback feature. So if you were to hit a rock, it's gonna naturally wanna come up and uh, you won't mess up your motor. The pressure. <laughs> oh shit. Got it. Today we've kind of opted out of the reverse line. So this motor will go in reverse to a point, uh, but I imagine that's not gonna be necessary today. So all we're running is the lift line and two steering cables back to the tree. I've got this anchor wizard that's offset and then our anchor ball is running directly through the front handle. We're gonna be in some pretty shallow water, as low as six inches, but it's not gonna get any higher than maybe six to eight feet. So this is gonna be perfect for this river. What makes this a great kayak to motorize is that it's already a very maneuverable kayak. If you have the top run deck lines for the steering, you're gonna get real tight steering and make those tight turns. So the water's temperature right now is 65 degrees. I just went down there and checked it. About where it has been lately for on our smallmouth rivers. Um, it's just below what we typically consider prime for smallmouth. Usually when they hit 70 degrees, that's when they really get going. But 65 is good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. You know, I expect they'll be hitting top water and stuff below too. Uh, they should be all over the place. I think we'll probably find them mostly in the shade line to begin with, kind of close to the banks. Definitely going to be throwing some flies to the banks, see what happens. And then we'll probably pick up fish mid-river around structure. I think that's where this little chatterbait is going to be the ticket. Chatterbaits are awesome. Catch everything that swims. My initial reaction to this kayak is it's surprisingly stable. I can stand on it just fine, make long casts. Pretty cool. I like it. It handled that shallow, rocky rapid we just went through surprisingly well. Didn't get much water over the bow, even though I forgot to put the motor fully up in the up position. It's got this kickback feature. So if you were to hit a rock, it's gonna naturally wanna come up and uh, you won't mess up your motor. Made a few banging noises, but it's all still there. One thing that I've been impressed with so far, and I don't have a whole lot of time on the SKF, especially in a river situation, but its ability to go through and get up over skinny water. I was worried that it wasn't gonna have enough buoyancy in the bow to really get over some of that heavy chop, but it's done really great. And I'm also impressed with how well this high seat is doing. Usually you wouldn't go down a river like this in such a high seat, but it's super stable. I've been confident the whole day. I actually did get a fish on, but I did not Let's get it go. to the boat. So we've still got a big skunker going on right now, but I think everybody is just kind of getting acclimated to their kayak. We've got to dial in as the day goes on. What's up guys? Matt Barnes here with Asheville on the fly. I'm a local fly fishing guide here in Western North Carolina in East Tennessee, uh, guiding for trout and smallmouth. Sorry to interrupt, but he has a massive smallmouth. It's a smallmouth? It's nice. It's a nice smallmouth. All right, so we were rolling past some pretty fast moving water. I kicked that NK-180 on and I matched the current and I was able to get a pretty decent cast behind some rocks and nice little small mouth came out and surprised me. You know, it's really interesting when you're in fast moving water like that, managing your kayak, your paddle, your motor, the fish, trying to net the fish. And when all that comes together, it feels really good. And this is just a awesome, pretty small mouth first of the day, we are no longer skunk, baby. This is what I've been using, kind of switching back and forth between a white and olive Kitech. This is also connected to a uh, mini chatterbait from Z-Man. Chatterbaits, awesome. Catch everything that swims. Yeah, it's been working great so far. That fish was actually behind some pretty fast moving water. As soon as I caught it, I kind of threw down the stern motor and uh, 
kicked it into high gear, got into a position, uh, some slow moving water to where I could get that fish in the boat. In that situation, I try to stay away from Anchor Wizard just because that water is moving fast. It puts a lot of pressure on that Anchor Wizard and you don't want to get in a situation to where that anchor gets stuck and you have to cut your line. Overcook that big time. <laughs> the skiff's definitely a game changer as far as smallmouth fishing goes. Definitely allows you to get into some places that you just couldn't do on foot. A little bit of a learning curve to begin with, but once we got the hang of it, cruising all over the river, zipping around from spot to spot. We're making our way down the river here. Super impressed with the uh, with the skiff out here today. The bite's kind of tapering off. We're gonna scoot on out of here. So what did we learn today? We learned that the SKF is a river machine. We got on it today, caught some small mouth, but it's time to get the hell out of here and get back home. If you wanna learn more about the SKF 117, check out bonafidefishing.com. <laughs>